<laughs> well, we got a big show today. <laughs> She's an old lady. I mean, look at her. She's old. Are we recording? Yeah. You're such an asshole, Ben. You know that? She's too old. You are such a prick to your <laughs> grandmother. Oh, my gosh. I just can't believe she's she's dressed like it's like it's the dead of winter. She did look kind of cute when I walked in. That, that jacket is for like three people. It's like a whole body suit. Yeah. Kind of, a big fluffy one. It looked warm, though. I mean, it is kind of cold in here. She said it's sixty degrees in here. Like, also, why are you? Why do you have it set at sixty degrees, Grandma? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. But then you were like, people, listeners. This is what he was doing. He was yelling at his grandma. <laughs> no, he smacked her down on the ground one time. He said, "If you fucking tell me to wear pants again, I'm gonna fucking beat you." Loud noises. It was really rude, and I watched it all go down. Huh? Speaking of my grandma, I'm gonna have to console her later. She's in in the in the summer when it's like 90 degrees out. She complains that it's too hot, but she's got every door and window open instead of having them closed and having the the air conditioning on. Old people are weird, man. And she complains that it's hot in here, and it's just like eh, it doesn't make sense. You complain a lot about a lot of stupid shit, you know. I know because I'm old. I'm 37. I'm yeah, old. sure. That's the reason. <laughs> speaking of why, why, why are you speaking to her about her? Oh, speaking of my grandma, somebody, my buddy, we were at, uh, we went to Tom Segura on oh, nice. Sunday. Thanks for the invite. Appreciate yep. that. It was a lot of, a lot of fun. And then uh, Wed Beller was there. Oh, nice. I didn't. You see invited him. when, but you didn't no, I didn't invite. invite him. Him. Hmm, that's no, real nice. He went separately. Oh fucker. Um, and you know how Tom's podcast is your mom's house. Yeah. My buddy was like, do they have a podcast out there called Your Grandma's House? And I was like, no, but that's yeah. a good idea. Yeah. Maybe we should change our name to Your Grandma's no. House. No. <laughs> nope. All right. Balls out it is. Let's try and latch on to other comedians' podcasts. We're already Not top 10, on. dude, in, in good podcasts, okay? So yeah. I think we're making our own name for ourselves. We're being real tra- trailblazers. And you know what? Are, what what episode are we on? Like five thousand now? Like we've we're been doing this three hundred for, for twenty years. It feels like, and still haven't gotten any better at it. Right. Our uh, uh, we got sixty three new subscribers on YouTube this month. Really? Yeah. I saw we had uh, a new like on Facebook. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. A new, yeah. Follow a new follower. On Facebook. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't click in to see who it was. Me neither. Was, but I don't know if you can see. I don't know. Probably. <laughs> Hopefully, that'd be nice. Just say, oh, who cares? Say that person's name. Yeah. Just say it. Well, how was your weekend, Brett? Oh, I was good, man. What'd you do? It's golf. So much fun. Um. Yes. Saturday, I didn't golf though. I uh, oh. uh, went over to my buddies, and he just kind of. Since it was Pulaski days this weekend, or this past weekend, yeah. Um. And his wife is Polish. They're just they always go down to Pulaski days. But since they had a All kid, right. they're like, We're gonna have like a like a garage party, Pulaski Day type deal, and we're gonna watch football in the garage all day. Oh nice. So we watched OSU and whoever the fuck they played Iowa. Okay. And then I left right before the Michigan Michigan game just because I had been over there all day. But... Did you watch the Michigan game? No. Oh, no, I didn't. It was a great game. Fuck Michigan. I don't care about Michigan. Yeah, but they lost. Good. I got to watch them lose. It was great. Good. It was a fun game. Good. Because of that. But yeah, they they made a bunch of like, I don't know, kielbasa and pierogies and... Very delicious sausage. All that stuff that I didn't even partake in because it's disgusting. Pierogies are good. No. I like pierogies. I've never had a pierogi. It's just like ravioli. <sighs> do you like ravioli? I do. I love ravioli. Yeah, it's by just the, like by the time I wanted to eat one, they were all gone. Oh. Well... But that's my own fault. You snooze, you lose. I did snooze on those. Except kibasa. Ugh. You ever have you? Did you see how kibasa? Like, did you see it get made? No. Okay. I or cooked. I didn't have all day. Yeah, I think he just. I don't know if there's he, a froth. He might have cooked it in. Yeah, oh yeah, I know that. It's he, disgusting. He might have cooked it in the sauerkraut. I don't know if that's what you do. I know they're gross, gross food. I yeah. Know. No thanks. Yeah. No, I don't know. I don't know if I. I think I've had kielbasa without the sauerkraut. I didn't mind it. 
Kibasa is just so gross. I can't stand looking at it. I can do brats and hot dogs, but I can't do kibasa. It, it looks just like a brat. Nah. It does. It's or different. a Polish sausage or something. It's different. Okay, that's fine. It's okay to be different, remember? Yes. Who said that? I don't know. Abraham Lincoln? Okay. Probably. Very wise right man. Right before he freed the slaves, dude. Yeah. It's okay to be different. You guys are free. <laughs> That's how it went. That's exactly what how it went. What did he do? Shoot him then? No, then he got shot oh. in the head. Oh, okay. Gosh, Ben. Four score, seven years ago. Oh, no. Rest in peace, Abe. Before I got here, Ben, the Tigers won their baseball oh, they did? game today. Yeah. Oh. Three zip. I thought it had just started or something. Oh, my God. I don't know. I don't follow baseball. Even. I don't I was, either. I was I, talking to the guy at work. I was like, or my maybe it was my wife. I was like, I don't even know if I'd watch if they were in the World Series. I would. I haven't. I haven't watched any of their games. Maybe I'd watch like the last. If it was, if it was three and three or yeah. whatever, I'd watch. Yeah, I'm just. I'm not a big baseball fan. Yeah. Anymore. I just. Well, I only know what's going on because Bill has talked about it every day. Right. And he watched the game with Dan Hasty today during the show. Oh jeez. And I mean, <laughs> oh, I, no. it was fine with me. I just okay. fucking sat there and did nothing. And I've been kind of sick, so. Okay. So I was okay with that. I had to pay Dan 50 bucks to come in. <laughs> <laughs> to watch the game? For Twice. Me. Twice he did it on Monday. Oh. I'm, I'm like, don't even fucking tell Bill because then it's going to be like he'll never come in again because he's charging. But he needs to get a babysitter for his kid. So fuck it. Who's that? Dan, oh, Dan, Dan. is. Like, I'll give you fucking 50 bucks. How old is Dan's kids? Uh, or are Dan's She's like kids? Two, two or three. Oh, okay. Maybe? Wow. Yeah. How old is Dan? I don't know. Dan's... Isn't he pretty old? I think late for 30s. Having... Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Don't start that conversation. You're going to make me feel about my, about bad about myself. I thought he was like late 40s. No. Oh. I don't think so. No way. All right. Oh, so, Tigers are up two games to one if they win tomorrow's game time stamp. This is all going to be data. You're going to have to erase this from the podcast. Guy at my work. Uh, yeah. Then they'll, then yeah, they'll go on sucks. to the next part. Guy at my work said Cleveland. Is that who they're playing? Is Cleveland? Mm-hmm. Would be tough because they have like four good pitchers, yeah. like four great pitchers, I should say. Yeah. But they're winning. We got Tarek Skubal. That's the extent of my knowledge. Superfly and the sports guy. Yeah. That's the extent of my knowledge on that. Yeah. Lions are back this week. I know. Did your grandma give you shit last week for not no. watching the Lions game? Yeah, she did. Well, she just asked if I. Uh, she was just like, you, you didn't watch the game. Yeah, I. That's the first thing I did was tell on you when I got yeah, up there. Yeah, I heard. I overheard. And she was just her mouth just dropped. <laughs> and then and I just went. ran over to her. <laughs> <laughs> I just took advantage of what I could. <sighs> <laughs> Here's audio of my grandma from last week. That is the biggest penis I have ever seen. She hasn't seen too much. Sounds very manly, too. <laughs> <laughs> she had a cold. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. It is cold out. So, yeah, that was my Saturday. <laughs> nice. And then my Sunday, I, I went golfing in the morning. And then I got home, and I started to feel, like, cold. Okay, like, like chills? Chills. Yeah. And I took a nap, and I woke up, and I went and grab Chinese food for my family and I tried doing that and I was like, oh no, this isn't going to work. Oh. Chinese food, no. So I cold sweat through the night into nice. Monday. Woke up Monday, went to work, puked my ass off Monday night oh, no. into Tuesday morning. Didn't get to sleep till like four or five, then went into work. And I felt, felt, felt better since then. Oh, well that's good. No, it's just so like, the flu, huh? I don't know. Twenty-four hour flu? Yeah. Now my f- nose is just you know runny. That's hmm. about it. Because normally, like yeah, when I get sick like that or have runny nose and everything, it's just a cold, yeah. no puking. It is weird. Well, it's like a, it's like you got a mixture of both. I think something that may have contributed to the puking all night was I hadn't lots e- of drinking. Eaten? No, <laughs> no, I hadn't eaten anything at all really since sunday night into monday afternoon and i'm like i need to get something on the way to work so i grabbed a beef jerky stick okay and i took three bites of that and it was all downhill from there 
Oh, no. The rest of my puke was dark brown, like beef jerky. Tasted like beef jerky. It did Ooh. not sit in my stomach did you well it? at all. Or did you uh, make your dog eat it? Uh, uh, oh, God. What's your dog's name? Hutch. Hutch? Hey, Hutch, come here. It was it was no good. I mean, when there, there wasn't no... There wasn't any <laughs> substance to it. It was all liquid, basically. Oh. All bile. All God. bile. Ugh. Like Coca-Cola colored bile. Oh, God. It was disgusting. Sounds like it. Yeah. I got in the bathtub like once. At, <laughs> no, I'm serious. Like <laughs> five times that night, once every hour. The bathtub five yeah. times? Yeah. Why? My stomach was killing me so bad. And for some reason, that was the only way like all that warm water on me. Oh, was to like for to settle, and that was the only way I could get any sleep. <laughs> so I passed out in the bathtub like three or four times for probably twenty minutes, thirty minutes. Nice. Was, wow, what a pussy! It was so nice. <laughs> it might be weird, but it works. That is weird. Uh, I've never heard of that before. Uh, yeah, it was not a fun night. Yeah, it doesn't sound like it. I couldn't even masturbate either. Yeah. I couldn't I just couldn't I was so weak really oh so weak man <laughs> he's about to jacket nope <laughs> probably would have made my throat feel a little bit better from all that puking what a little bit of semen cum, yeah that's semen down my throat yeah. so that was that was my it's weekend in the, to today yeah nice how was your weekend in today 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 mine was fun I went to uh, the Pulaski Day Parade. You did, you pal, pull, pal, pull, lock. Yeah. You dirty pal, like. Because my friends have kids, so that's what <laughs> they do is they go to the parade every year now. And then we went to a bar right down the street for lunch and then went home. Uh, didn't go to any halls or anything because yeah. it's basically impossible to get in. Yeah, it's too much. Because the parade is just so many Fucking, there's so many fucking people. Is it downtown Grand Rapids? Yeah, it's like down on Fulton Street. Yeah. No, yeah. And then you immediately, everybody immediately goes into the halls. I was like, the only way you can really get a seat or get a good spot in the halls is during the parade. Yeah. You just skip it. And there's so, it's, those things are fucking packed. Yeah. Oh, my the gosh. Halls? Yeah. Yeah, the halls are. I'm o- I'm over the bar hopping thing. Maybe I need to get back into it. I'm over it too. Find a girlfriend or something. Yeah, we were talking. I went to Segura, like I said, on Sunday night, and my buddy was asking me, "He's like, when is the last time you went downtown to the bars?" And I'm like, "Fuck, it's mm-hmm. been forever." No, and I don't ever feel like going back. Mm-mm. I don't want to wait in lines and like outside the bar to yeah, get in. No, and I don't want to have to deal with. Uh, like a full bar with like two people deep trying to get yeah. alcohol and fucking like young 21 yeah. to 25 year old assholes yeah, jocks and right not, not, not jocks necessarily but just just dicks. pricks yeah. yeah you see them everywhere there too many people for me too yeah i don't, I don't like need, being need around that many people area. unless it's a lions game or a tigers game yeah true or it's only for a couple hours like the busiest I want to be is, or a place where I want it to be the busiest is maybe like Lions playoffs game at a Buffalo Wild Wings or something like that. Right. That's about it. But I better have a place to sit. Yeah, exactly. As long as I have a table or a booth, I'm good. Yeah. But yeah. Cool. That sounds so awesome, man. Got a comedy show coming up this Friday. Nice. It's. Timestamp. Showcase. Cool. I'm getting paid for it. Ooh, how much, Ben? Thirty dollar. Whoa, mega you holla. Holla. Yeah. Per hour or per joke? <laughs> no, per <laughs> hour. I'm only doing seven minutes. Whoa, damn. Yeah. So wow, thirty bucks for seven minutes. That's I'm pretty pumped. That's how many how many I'm not even pumped that it's pay. I'm just pumped that I got invited or asked to do it because it's like a showcase it's like four hundred dollars an hour yeah it's not a regular open mic it's a showcase so it's like gosh who here's grand rapids best oh god <laughs> whose great idea was it <laughs> to throw you there. up there my buddy who do, who's running the show fucking garrett no fuck you garrett <laughs> no is it Stu? that'd be nice is it no Stu it's not Stu either. Either. fuck you Stu McAllister. his name is ben fuck that's your name i know how the i don't know how that works 
There's a few bends in Grand Rapids in comedy. Really? Yeah. Oh, gosh. You're going to have to take them all out so you I can know. be the only Ben. Yeah. The one, the only Ben. <laughs> <laughs> or I'll just change my first name. Why? I changed my last name. Why can't I change my first? What are you going to change your first name to? Jake? Glenn. Glenn. Glenn Glaze. Glenn Glaze. <laughs> I kind of like that. That's a little zesty, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Hey, I'm Glenn Glaze, y'all. Come on down <laughs> to the to the pop shop. I'll tell you two jokes or three. <laughs> oh, God. Glenn Glaze. Yeah. <laughs> Glenn Blaze. There we go. No. no Glenn, uh, Glaze Glenn Glaze works. Uh uh, have you ever seen Bedazzled? Bedazzled. Bedazzled with Brendan Fraser and the hot woman that's the devil. No. And he gets all these. Brendan Fraser's in it? Brendan Fraser. It's an older movie, Bedazzled. It's got. Yeah, I know what you're talking her about, name I think. It. Yeah, who's the hot chick that's the main character? Or not God. main character, but. So I, know, I know what her name is. I just don't know what it is. Supporting actress. But anyways, there's one character in there that I'm thinking looks exactly like Glenn Glaze, and it's unfortunate you haven't seen the movie. It's when he becomes a sensitive person. Okay. And his teeth are like extremely huge and fake. And he's got, <laughs> he's got kind of long curly hair, and he's just wearing like a cardigan and just looks really nice. And that's Glenn Glaze to it's me. from the year 2000. What's her name? Um... Shan- Shannon Shh. Elizabeth Hurley. That's what I said. It's, that's not what. It's exactly said. what I said. I said Elizabeth Hurley like forty times. I wonder who the guy is. That is it a white guy or a black? It's guy? a white guy. It's not Raul, is it? It might be Dolphins. He he makes a dolphin song. He makes a dolphin song. Yeah, it's great. God, I love that movie. Am I right, Wen? Am I right? Land mammal, dolphin. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, it's fine, but no. What's his name in the movie? <laughs> uh, it's the just try sensitive, sensitive, sensitive guy, guy in Bedazzled. <laughs> sensitive Brendan Fraser, uh, fucking dolphin song. I bet you there's a video uh, of that if you type all that in. Bedazzled clip, sensitive. Okay. <laughs> You see him? Not yet. He's running up to the girl. Hey. Oh, God. That, yeah, that's Glenn Glaze. <laughs> totally. Play this. Play this. Head like a crown. But then I caught sight of that sunset. And I don't know. Something stirred inside me, and I had to stop and weep. It's mm, beautiful. It is. He's choking up. Here I go again. Tissue? No. I never wipe my tears away. I'm not ashamed of them. <laughs> like small, wet, salty badges of emotional truth. I should watch Elliot, this movie. You need to. There's something that I think that we should talk about. Um, we've been together for what? About three weeks now? Three magical weeks. <laughs> magical weeks and i don't think that i've ever met a man who's been more in touch with his feelings i love you <laughs> so very much i love you too <laughs> oh is that the first time they've said that oh sure there's the devil i'm sorry that's not for the devils come on you naughty boys Wait, is this the Are beginning okay? of the movie? No. Oh. Do, do you need comforting on any level? No, 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 I'm fine. This is a long Have clip. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. What? Six, six and a half minutes. Oh, man, I want to hear the dolphin song. Oh. <laughs> All right. Let's get uh, forward to the dolphin song. Bedazzled. Oh, you exited out of it? Yeah. God, you are such a Justin. Dolphin song. Here we go. And I worry about the dolphins. I wrote a song about them. Thank Would you, you like to hear it? Now I... Mayo, mayo, Swimming by the sandy shore. Dancing up among the waves. Dolphin, dolphin, I adore everything you are. 
You're so much more than a fish to me, my playful friend beneath the sea. <laughs> I have to stop. Good. I mean, oh, why? That's it. <laughs> Maybe I this, don't need to watch weird that movie. Ass look on your face. Yeah, it's fucking weird. No, you got to watch it. It's so I funny. Know. It's so great. Thanks for taking me down memory lane. He's singing about the dolphins, then he became a whale. Oh, nice, man. Yeah. Glenn Glaze. <laughs> <laughs> Making connections. Making connections. Misconnections. Yes. Dear Abby. Yes. <laughs> All, right. All right. You want to get to articles? Oh, yeah. yeah sure. Okay. I'd love to. Right. My favorite part of the show. Yeah. That's the best part. All right. So I've got some some lighthearted ones this week that don't have to deal with chicks. Nice. Just dudes. Yeah. Awesome. So uh, after hours of traveling, more most vacationers are eager to sink into a cushy mattress atop a cozy bed in a hotel room or rental hall. Mm, nice, nice. Breaking it down. But when it came time to pull back the sheets for some shut eye, this tripper, whoops, this tripper had to table the issue. Literally. Oh my gosh. What? This is at the Airbnb oh, that I they was were saying. Staying. Oh my gosh! To... <laughs> Can you see? Oh my! What's gosh. below the blankets? Yeah, those are two little pop-up tables, aren't they? Put together, yeah, those to make like a queen beer bed. pong tables, yeah, or exactly. tailgating tables. Yeah. <laughs> oh gosh! Wow. Yeah. Uh, let's see. It says it's not what it seems. Said a brunette who, uh, per a clip, was stunned to find that the bed of her Airbnb rental in Nebraska was actually two folding tables covered by a comforter. It's an illusion, she cackled. Uh, An illusion? Oh, it's not from her. It's from her sister. Quote, when my sister sent me the video of the tables under the comforter, my mouth literally dropped open. Yeah. I know Airbnbs could have some crazy things going on, but this takes the cake. I don't know about that because I've got another one. That's the end of the article. Uh, I feel like you skipped a lot there. No, I didn't. I don't believe you. I got no. I'm. I'm I thought it was an optical illusion. No, I thought that's what it just said. Uh, Maybe she's stupid. (laughs) (laughs) Wow, man, that was a real home run of a article there. A Canadian one, four sentences long. You really brought it today. Saying what? I have multiple articles to get through. I hope they're all four sentences long. A Canadian woman staying in an Airbnb with 14 other friends for a 30th birthday. I wonder if it's all chicks. I hope so. Uh, Has described the terrifying moment that they allegedly found a tiny camera hidden in the bathroom. Oh, no. Uh, She said a friend had mentioned that she felt like there were cameras in the house and went searching despite the rest of them thinking she was paranoid. Quote, in the bathroom, one of the outlets was faced directly to the shower. How would you... Didn't you do this one last week? No. Okay. In an outlet? I don't know. I don't remember yeah, this Yeah, they one. got those little, those little cameras. Yeah, but... I mean, I wouldn't know anything about those. But... I wouldn't. I never thought of that. Yeah, I mean... It, or would have thought no, of that. No, I never... Not even... I my swear it's do it. The... The... Really... <laughs> Video included a clip of what uh, she said was a faulty outlet that wasn't working, and in one of the holes, it appeared there was a tiny camera. She said they freaked out and called the police, but were also embarrassed a camera could have caught them all showering the night before. Together? Oh, oh my God. There was 15 girls. Where do I buy this footage? Quote, we left the house, the cops searched the place, and they got the cameras. Part of me was not convinced it was real, and then they found the cameras. Wow, it really yeah. puts things into perspective when yeah. you find them. The cameras were being sent for analysis, of course. Duh. God, I wish I was those cops. Oh, God. And an interview was scheduled with the property owners. Um, she later updated users on, in the comments. The owners of the house claimed they didn't know anything about the hidden cameras, but they were renting the place out to someone. In her video, she concluded the moral of the story is always check your outlets for cameras at your Airbnb and always listen to your super paranoid friends. 
So. I wouldn't always listen to your super paranoid no, friends. Or always check the out. Sometimes you got to just fucking tune them out because they're just fucking too paranoid about stupid shit they can't control. I always wonder if there's cameras behind the the mirrors in hotel bathrooms. I think I would perform better if there were. You Not know? me. I think I would just pee I get paranoid. and poop so well if I had, like, no, just kidding. I can't even poop. Or, if uh, I knew I there was a camera, the game. I would... Uh, I wouldn't shit in the toilet. I'd shit in the sink. Oh, nice. So I could see my butthole and see <laughs> see poop coming out of it. Okay. <laughs> That's gross. Okay. That's really gross. Yeah. I would not do that. No, no. Oh, speaking, <laughs> of, speaking of sh- uh, shower. Yeah. Um, uh, I've been watching the Menendez show. Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah part, I, I finished that. That part was hot. With him in the shower, oh, he's and he's got, got a, a rock hard boner. Yeah, not even rock hard. That thing it's was just like kinda, half staff. It was starting to creep. I'm like, whoa, dude. Yeah, holy shit, you Menendezes are Menen hung. But it, it, but the part, the the thing is, it's it's basically hard. Basically, but fuck, not even. I, I thought I, th- I thought you couldn't show hard dicks in TV shows. I thought it had to be like soft. No, well, it's a it's that was pretty hard on like probably cable. Okay. No, I, you can do that on HBO. I've seen hard cocks on HBO. Hard? Hell yeah. I don't think so. I don't know. I think it's all flaccid. I don't know. His his dick was still like it wasn't hard. It was standing it was, out. It wasn't like straight out like it, no, but it was. It could have been like, like a really forty five degree it. angle. Yeah, but oh, wow. Yeah, it's big. Man, I wonder if that's prosthetic because I need to. I always wonder that too. I want a prosthetic. Yeah, me too. That'd be so nice. When I go to the doctors, like, just give me a prosthetic that I can yes. put on. Yes, yes. I don't care how janky it looks. No. Just... <laughs> you put a black one on me. Like, right. Yeah, pull <laughs> I have vitiligo on my cock. <laughs> <laughs> Reverse vitiligo. Sorry. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, I am actually nice. <laughs> black just by vitiligo everywhere else. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Oh, oh, yeah. Nice. Nice penis. <laughs> And they somehow like tap into the nerves, and you can actually feel it. How far in do it are you? Did you just see the shower scene? I think I'm at the end of the fifth episode, the Hurt Man, when he's like talking it, about all the rape and shit that was. Going and it's on. just him. Yeah. Did you did you like the camera shot where it's out beyond the lawyer, and then all of a sudden it's like throughout the whole episode, which is just him talking. It's like very close up. Of him? Yeah, sure. Did you notice it was all one shot? Yeah, I noticed it was, okay. for the most part, one shot. I think it was all one shot. No, there was one, I think, change in there. Oh, okay. Maybe not, though. Very impressive. It was very impressive, though. Yeah. Like, you do all that, and you memorize all of that. Yeah, exactly. Unless they have That's some long seamless editing. Or monologue. It was like a 45, no, it was a 39-minute episode, so probably Damn. like 37 minutes of that yeah. was him talking about... Just yeah. having a good time, you know? Yeah. It's just fucking straight up good times back in the 80s. You Did know? you see that they released a two-hour documentary about the Menendez Brothers now yeah, on Netflix? Yeah, I did. I need to watch that now. I wanted to watch that before I finished the series. Oh, really? I, kind of, yeah. But I'd finish the series matter. first. I'd finish the series yeah. first, personally. And then know what actually like went down. And then, yeah, and then learn what actually happened. All right, man, I'll, I'll follow your judgment on that. Yeah. Yeah. Because it might like make you not want to go back to the series, or it's like, why am I even wasting my time? I want to see crime scene pictures. I'm a freak like that. Really? Yeah, I want to oh, see those. Me. I want to see those for sure. Not me. That's why I like uh, the Richard Ramirez forensic one? files and I stuff suck. like that because they show fucking crime scene photos. I'm like, yeah, really? Yeah, quit fucking doing what people are doing this like today, and they're just like blurring everything out. I want to <laughs> see. What happened? Uh, you know, people the need dirty to know. Details. How, how, people need to know how evil this world is. Yeah, it's true. You can't blur out evil. Ah, well, maybe. You need to show way. the masses. <laughs> I don't show know. the masses. Sorry. People like me don't want to see that. It's a little dark. Yeah, it is dark. Speaking of dark, did you see Joker? I did not. Good call. I decided against it. Good because, call. <laughs> well, one, it has a thirty-two percent. Or thirty something percent three critic. Yeah. Oh, okay. Has a thirty six percent audience. Maybe yeah. it's a th- in the thirties also, mm. which is telling. Mm-mm. 
It made forty million in the U.S., so not a lot of people saw it. It's livable, and it cost them over two hundred million. Yeah, and so I was just like, and it's over two hours long. It is. Yeah, it's like two hours and eighteen minutes. I think. Uh, I kind of don't want to even see it anymore. No, I like even when it comes out on on HBO. My thought was just wait till streaming. That way you can get up and move around and stop it and go back to it or just completely stop it all yeah. together. Oh, so sad. So sad. Yeah, it sucks. It is what it is, I guess, Ben. How about a magic trick? Oh, yeah. We'll make a good movie this time. They should bring Heath Ledger back. They should. That'd be so cool. Yeah. Oh, that'd be my favorite. What? Uh, they probably won't make a third one because of how bad this bombed. Oh, I, bet. I hope not. Yeah. They should have just left it a standalone or not made it a fucking musical right. and just kind of yeah. followed the path that the first one did. It should have just gone into craziness, even if they brought in Harley Quinn. Like, yeah. just have it go to chaos. Just because good guys and it doesn't mean you have to fucking sing. Right, and exactly. dance. Fuck good like, guys. She's been in other things where it hasn't. Like, she was in, uh, what's that show on FX that does a different... Oh, storyline every season. American Horror Story. Yeah, yeah she, she was in that. 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 was a horrible Roanoke. Season. I watched that. It was Hotel. Oh, was no, it? she was in Roanoke too. When? She was, uh, she had brunette hair. I, I, I know she was in it because I watched it. No. Yeah, she was in it. She had a small part in it. Nope. Yeah. You're wrong. I'm dead serious. Uh, you're probably right. I believe you. Oh, okay. Don't look I it up, I was going to look it up. I believe you. <laughs> that show's really gone downhill. I don't know. I've only watched part of that season, and then when the twist happened, I was just like, nope, I'm out. Oh. And I've never gone back to watching any oh. of that. What, how, isn't it on like, it's like 10th season? Yeah, something, or something like that. I don't know. Yeah. First season was the only good season in my opinion. Really? Yeah. Which, what happens in the first season? It's the horror house or whatever. Oh, okay. So it's all the different ghosts and stuff inside the house. Was the clown one good? Like the fourth season or something like that? Third season? Um, circus one. Yeah, it was good up until until a certain point where it was like starting to get scary, and then like American Horror Story does, it just goes downhill and doesn't oh. get scary. It just gets artsy fartsy. Oh, okay. Like Ryan fucking Murphy does in all of his shows. Really? Which that guy's got a fucking show everywhere. Like he's got forty million shows out right now. Huh. Menendez Brothers one. He has really. One. Yeah, he's doing like there's the grotesquerie one on fx right now there's i never heard of it he does the 911 show or whatever i don't fucking know or he's an executive producer on that oh fuck you ryan murphy quit taking with, over uh, hollywood what's his face rob Lowe? that one Nine one. yeah i think he's a yeah. producer on that oh. which doesn't make much sense right he doesn't seem like he'd do that kind of show it's not gay enough <laughs> well, that guy has a very Gay twist of things. Oh, right on. I'm assuming because he's gay. Is the first season scary or American Horror Story? Yeah, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. No. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Is it like Haunting on Hill House scary? Mm, I don't know. Or Haunting. It's up been Hill so House long. It's, it's been shows. over 15 years, probably. Okay. I just remember it being good and like intriguing and. All right. Just Maybe I should give that watch. season. A shit. You should. A, a, a watch. We should. Plus the leather man's in that one too. The leather man. Yeah, he's got a gimp suit on. Nice. Oh, fucks the shit. Out of this. I like oh, gimps. Woman. Mm. I want to get one of those. A gimp? No, one of those suits. A gimp suit? Yeah, I'm gonna be one for Halloween this year. There you go. I'm gonna be a gimp. You gonna have like a one of those balls in your mouth, the red balls? Yes. Or are you gonna? have it zipped up like a zip zipper over your mouth oh i might do zippers so i can drink there you go I have a little straw going to my mouth Ooh, yeah be hard to breathe I like that one it would be hard to breathe but that's kind of the fun part of it <laughs> why are you gonna be a gimp <laughs> can you oh, imagine just, being a gimp and giving out at candy <laughs> just, <to kids>? <laughs> <laughs> i could i could Imagine that. What's your costume? <laughs> Can you guess mine? Honey, honey, get back here. Come on, let's go. <laughs> let's get out of here. Yeah. God, I wonder if anybody's ever done that. That'd be a, a funny TV show skit, though. Like Tim Robinson that would should be. do that. Yeah. Or uh, Tom Hanks would be funny because it would be because it would be just so out of oh. character. Yeah, sure. 
Yeah. Sir T- yeah. Tom Hanks would be a good one. Good gimp on his platform that he's got. On SNL. Uh, yeah. Or Shane Gillis could do it easily. No, Killian Tom Hanks already has the, the Mr. Mr. Pumpkins or whatever. He can't yeah. do two fucking Halloween, Halloween bits. Skits? Come on. No, you only get a lot of one. What? Nothing, nothing. We just going off on tangents all day. We dude. are. I like it. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, here we go. Last story. Last story. Yeah. Okay. You want you want I figured you want to be this this would be a quick one. Yeah, I want to uh, whatever. Cuz you're sick. I'm sick. I'm going to go home. All right. So, ooh, lusty lads looking to lock lips. Oh, there's <laughs> there we go. The Not again. With Caroline Craig Quinn, better be careful because a smooch could prove fatal. Wow. The Boston-based beauty suffers from... Jesus Christ, (laughs) stop. Severe food allergies, as well as a chronic condition known as mast cell activation syndrome. MCAS is an immune disease that causes her cells to incorrectly identify things. Transgender people. Just kidding. That was a joke. I don't see color. Uh, As severe allergens, including all but two foods, oats, and hypoallergenic formula. The disorder causes intense episodes of swelling, shortness of breath, hives, diarrhea, vomiting, and other symptoms. In severe cases, it may lead to life-threatening anaphylaxis. Thus, any men looking to kiss Quinn need to follow three rules. Three simple rules for kissing my teenage daughter. Number one. Number one rule for kissing my teenage daughter. They can't have any of my six main anaphylactic allergens you better not be allergic to shit (laughs) which are peanuts tree nuts sea nuts these nuts (laughs) (laughs) sesame that was funny kiwi (laughs) mustard or sea (laughs) i'm funny (laughs) i added the sea nuts what are sea nuts i made those up oh i was just rhyming with Peanuts and tree nuts, kind of oh. like what you did. These nuts. Remember when I said yeah. that? <laughs> I do. <laughs> uh, that's funny. I'm funny. Rule number two. Whoa. Rule number two for kissing my teenage daughter. Can't eat anything three hours prior to kissing me. Well, what if what if the above rule number one? What if those are not, not even taking rule place? Rule number three. <laughs> rule number three for kissing my teenage daughter. You have to brush your teeth. You gotta brush your teeth, but it better your toothpaste better not have nuts in it. I didn't know Jerry Seinfeld had a, had a girl, a teenage girl. <laughs> uh, should a prospective paramour? Why do they have to do that? Fail to meet those prerequisites prior to puckering up jesus <laughs> fucking hell. who writes this the oh. consequences could be deadly for the blonde oh here's a picture with her with like rash oh yeah. god she'd be cute if that rash wasn't there yeah no just kidding she's cute i would i would rub some aloe on her rash there you go uh I'm peanut sure she based aloe that. Peanut <laughs> just kill her then she'd look like this oh that's her in the hospital with like nice. a respirator or whatever you call that i kind of like put my finger over the respirator i kind of like, like something else is going on there. <laughs> uh let's see oh, take this it's a life source roughly don't poop your pants i don't want to uh, roughly one in six people, including the A-list likes of singers Billie Eilish and Halsey, are diagnosed with a form of mast cell disease. Yeah, Billie Eilish has got mast cell disease. More like <laughs> their mast cells are all in her breasts because those are massive. You should really tell Whoa. jokes like that Whoa. on Friday. Did you do some crowd work and like somebody says, I like Billy Eilish. <laughs> Billy Eilish, more like Billy. My eyes are staring at her 
tits the whole time. <laughs> Glen Glaze. Pew, pew. <laughs> Glen Glaze coming at you. Pew, pew. <laughs> you just got by Glen Glaze. You just got got. <laughs> you just got Glen Glazed. <laughs> yeah, she is cute. She's adorable. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I don't even care if she has small boobs. Yeah. Oh, she probably got little pinky nipples. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is my problem? Well, good morning, Mr. Nipple. Uh, hey there. Must be cold in here. Uh so there let's see. Now it's going on to some other chick. Ooh. Natasha. Two for one? Okay, gym, gymnast. Oh, God, yes. What's wrong with her? I'll fucking fix her up. <laughs> <laughs> She's stricken with the disease and is severely allergic to strong emotions. Oh, good thing I don't have any what? of those. Hold on. This can't be real. <laughs> Bouts of laughter, sadness, or stress could trigger, trigger a fatal chemical reaction. Wow. Sounds horrible. You'd have to stay inside and not do anything. Yeah, she couldn't come on one of my comedy shows. Well, she wouldn't laugh anyways. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. What, literally, what could you do? You, like, what if you're reading a book and there's something funny that happens and you start laughing? Like, then you, ah, you die? Listen to this. This is speaking of dark. Oh, okay. Like your vitiligo penis. Yes. Uh, like Quinn, she has shared the harrowing tales or details of her health struggles online and revealed she planned her own funeral at age 20 due to the seriousness of her sickness. I'm oh, glad yeah. you laughed at that. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, She's dead. Plan your own funeral. Jesus. How are you going to pay for it, huh? Right. <laughs> like, well, you, well, maybe that's not part of the plan. Maybe it's like... Mom pays this. All right. Dad pays yeah. This. Um. Mom, Dad, I wanted the. I just die. The best casket. The the most in emotion proof. Uh, basket. Yeah. Uh, casket for when I was buried. I don't want any emotions getting in while I'm done. Can you imagine that or her planning the funeral being so stressful that it killed her? Oh gosh. Wouldn't that yeah. Be? What Ironic. if she's so stricken with guilt and just like not guilt, uh, just so sad about almost yeah, maybe sadness. having to die. Yeah. Oh, wow. So anything you do, you might die. Or she likes dark humor, and so planning her own funeral made her laugh a lot. <laughs> 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 yep, that's exactly how it sounds. <laughs> Silly women. Uh, let's see. Um, I can't find where I was. All these. The, it keeps jumping around. Oh, God, Justin. Ooh. Solid. Okay. Uh, I got sick with MCAS in September of 2017 after one true allergic reaction to cross contamination with nuts. Spiraled into a series of anaphylactic episodes to foods I wasn't allergic to. My allergist at the time suspected it could be MCAS, but needed me to see a specialist in order to get proper diagnosis. Oh. This is the part where it gets boring because there's lots of words. Oh, gosh. Wor I know words are hard for you. <laughs> uh, but when it comes to swapping spit, the sweetheart throws caution to the wind, kind of. Kissing boys is definitely a risk. It invites potential instability into my life, but so does everyday life for me. Mm. She could expect experience anaphylaxis from something as benign as a dog's lick on her cheek said she'd rather roll the dice by smooching a smoke show than abstaining altogether oh you just need to walk into her life brett fuck yeah dude oh you called me a smoke show ben thank you yep 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 well uh, i'm such a smoke show hey i could completely avoid kissing and just live in a bubble when it comes to relationships but i choose to take a little calculated risk so that i can live a full and happy life mm, baby i live in that bubble with you all day long my mouth will get itchy my lips and my tongue will get itchy Ooh, i'll itch them with my mouth a bit of flushing and some head rush uh to quell the flare-ups she immediately brushes her teeth and downs a dose of emergency medications like benadryl baby i'll walk around with you and keep an epi yeah. pen on me baby uh the selective siren 
says strict stipulations around sucking face have not only safeguarded her immune system, they've also helped her avoid kissing frogs. It immediately weeds out any guys who don't really give a shit about you. Okay. Baby, I walk around with a defibrillator on my back for you, baby. (laughs) If they have to follow a few rules to kiss you, then they obviously care. They're obviously interested, and they're willing to put in a good amount of effort. So if you ever want to know if a guy is serious about you, just tell him you have M-A-C-S and tell them to follow the three rules, and you'll know immediately. Baby, I'll, I'll fucking... I'll make sure you get in a nice hot bath so your stomach don't hurt. <laughs> you can lay there for a good 40, 50 minutes and stare up at the ceiling, close your eyes, and I'll brush your hair. <laughs> I'll braid it up for you, and then I'll brush your teeth for you, and then I'll brush my own teeth with the same toothbrush and yeah. the toothpaste. Then I'll clean that, that peanut butter off my dick from when I was hanging out with the dog so you can oh, yeah. put your own mouth on it. Well, I'm at the Brent ha- <laughs> Brent Damn it. Man. I'm at the just You're trying too hard, man. Oh. <laughs> She's allergic to peanuts. I thought it would be Oh, funny. no. I wanted to bring him back to life. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, check out Comedy Show Friday. Ben, check out Ben's patrons. Comedy Show. When does this come out? Thursday? It'll, I'll probably put it out tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thursday. Yeah. I'll probably edit it and yeah. put it out tomorrow. You got to get all of our listeners coming to your show on Friday. I'll be there. Oh, I know I'll be there. 100%. I don't really want people to be there. I just want people to hear about it. <laughs> know that I'm up to stuff. Oh, okay. <laughs> Interesting. Well, I'm, uh, I'm really looking forward to hearing about how it goes next week so we i'm sure it's gonna be great for you uh, i was talking about your mother <laughs> right. i'm gonna say that as one of my jokes I, maybe i should try to add that in hey, if somebody if, if, if i if i say something dirty and like a heckler says something I'll be like i'll just be like uh, i was talking about your mother i was talking about your mother you know that Liam Neeson guy. Imagine I'm Liam Neeson. I was talking about your mother. <laughs> All right, that's chill. Wait, Liam Neeson. That's going to be the new. Oh, Liam not guy. Liam Neeson. Fucking what's his name? Leslie Nelson. Leslie. Nelson. <laughs> Wait, no, it's Leslie. Leslie Nielsen. Is it Nielsen? I think so. For some reason, I was thinking Nielsen ratings. Like, yeah, oh, he created the Nielsen. Ratings. Oh, he did. Yeah, he did. He nice. did. Uh-huh. That's my wiener. Leslie Nielsen. I think that's right. All packers. <laughs> okay, stop. I'm going to <laughs> gonna go home. I'm at the Brian Glaze. Follow me at thebrianglaze.com. Go to thebrianglaze.com to check out my. Also, isn't is that guy dating tranny? Jim is that Jim yeah. Norton? Yeah, yeah. He's fucking dating a tranny. Good for yeah. him. Nicky Norton is. Uh, he's Are they married? married? He's married to. Wow, her. I didn't expect that from him. Really? No. Oh, you didn't know he was into transgender women? No, I did not know that. You did not know he was in chicks with dicks. I did not know that. I don't listen to his comedy. Yeah. Does he talk about that in his comedy a lot? Yeah. Really? Yeah. He talked about it on his Netflix special. Oh. And everything, yeah. Good for him. Yep, yep, yep. She's got a bigger penis than he does. <laughs> <laughs> no joke. That's funny. Yeah. Well, best of both worlds, I guess. Uh, let's see. This is what he says every time he sees it. Daddy like. <laughs> is that Blake Anderson? No, that was Jim Norton. Oh. <laughs> I thought I'd play a Jim Norton clip about... Yeah, liking his wife. Was that yes. was that really him? No, that yeah. was that was fucking Kevin. Daddy like it's Kevin from the Office. No, <laughs> yes, no. it is. No, <laughs> yeah, it is. It's Kevin this from is, the Office. This is Kevin from the Office. <sighs> nope, <laughs> really. Looks like a monster. Exactly. Play Daddy like. Daddy like. <laughs> That's fucking no, Kevin from the totally Office. Different. I guarantee it. <laughs> no. Yes. Okay, can we go now? Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. you look like you're struggling. Why didn't you just go home? That's your home. Are you too good for your home? Answer me. That's Adam. Suck that. my white ball. That's Kevin from the office. <sighs> <laughs> Bye, fuckers. <laughs>
Oh boy. That's awesome.